unboxing and overview of this Corsair Obsidian 750D full tower case. First of all, to see, let's see the package. It's a plain carton package with some graphics and explanation with the dimensions of the box showing the layout, the hard drive cages, the fans, the side panels. Uh, as we can see and as we know um, on the left side there is a, a window which uh, gives us a perspective of the internals of this uh, great looking case so um, let's unpack it to see what we have inside case of this size it was pretty light and didn't require any um, force uh, to, to lift it so I could easily uh, carry it with one, one hand um, it was delivered via the standard postage so um, now we can judge whether it was damaged or the, yeah, the packaging protected it pretty, pretty well. So we have a pretty hard form, which proves that it was safely delivered. Here, the manual along with the warranty. You should use this manual in case if uh, you're not aware of the sizes and layout and uh, motherboard standards. So we we'll have. The window cut out that I was talking about. There are two thumb screws holding it in place. We easily unscrew them. As you can see, there is a tape to protect the, the glass internals. Uh, even though 
through the window. Uh, it looks like an acrylic glass. It's quite rigid and uh, holds pretty well. And from inside, it's not glued, but there are clips that hold the window in place. Inside we also have two hard drive cages Let me bring that closer into a better idea of what we have inside The lighting is not the best so I'll try to so we have two screws down here which we can unscrew and take this uh, drive cage that holds in place three three and a half or uh, three two and a half inch hard drives in first case for the standard desktop hard drives in, in second case for 10.5 inch we can uh, use it for SSDs works with the accessories here we have some zip ties and screws that uh, are required to screw in the motherboard. Uh, some screws, long screws for additional fans. The case itself, the case itself includes um, one hundred and forty millimeter fan in the back. So the front panel comes off by just pressing at these two sides. Easy. Then we have the dust filter, which can be easily taken off. Pushing this clip down so you can take it out, wash it, do whatever you like. And we have two 140 millimeters. Those are 140. Yes. We have two more 140 millimeter fans at, in front for intake, which can be replaced if we move. So if we take these fans out, remove these hard drive cages, these two. We can put a 120 millimeter radiator here, uh, which can be up to, I guess, 60 millimeters or maybe even more. Uh, a monster wrap in pull, push and pull configuration. And at the top, we have 
space for uh, three, five and a quarter uh, inch devices such as CD-ROM or a fan controller or even a radiator that you can, you can place here. We have pre-installed standoffs for pretty much all the um, most popular motherboards um, Micro ATX, uh, ATX, EATX, Excel ATX um, and we can see all the rubberized grommets around the motherboard for better cable management at the top as you can see here we have a grill a mesh uh, and here uh, we can install a triple 140mm uh, radiator or triple 120mm radiator or one 120mm uh, radiator and a fan an exhaust fan here we have enough space for a latch uh, for a large uh, power supply the standoffs here are not rubberized so uh, there might be some vibrations but using a double sided tape might help so let's look at the back we have uh, ventilation holes here uh, exhaust uh, ventilation space for the uh, exhaust fan two holes for uh, external water cooling kit um, I assume for an, a 9 PCI Express uh, PCI or PCI Express uh, outputs um, for you to even uh, create a quad uh, SLI or uh, quad SLI configuration here or use it for your sound cards uh, additional Ethernet or Wi-Fi cards the new trend with a uh, new AC uh, AC routers um, use fairly strong antennas big antennas so you need enough space to put your PCI card for your AC uh, network adapter. Here is the power supply uh, cut out and here is the input output uh, shield. Here we have the uh, connector for your fan. Here is another connector for your front fans. Um, let's see the other side. What we have on the other side. Here we also have two thumb screws, which are easy to remove. Okay, very rigid. Uh, it stands off pretty much quite a bit from from the back back wall of your uh, case, and there is also a large CPU CPU cutout for your aftermarket heat sinks uh, fans, so you don't have to remove your motherboard to place your fan. Uh, it's easily done from here. Just remove your back panel and can easily do that. Let's check the cables that we have here. So we have a USB 3, 20 pin USB 3 uh, um, connector, front panel uh, audio, and a USB 2 connector here.
and your um, motherboard uh, hard drive power um, reset and other LED uh, connectors here. Um, As we can see, we have four additional hard drive cages, but these are uh, um, can house only 2.5 inch uh, SSD uh, hard drives. Let's see how these are removed. Okay. Okay, so just clip. So just push it and it comes out. It comes right out. So you slide in your SSD hard drive, SSD drive, or your 2.5 inch uh, hard drive. Which is done in this manner. Just pull this clip, slide it in, and just let the clip go, and it's fixed. So you don't need to screw 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 the, uh, to secure. But you can do it for uh, to make it even more secure or uh, to minimize the vibrations. But other than that, it feels pretty secure. So. Easy to slide it in, slide it out. That's it. And pretty easy to put it back in. Okay. Now. So um, we have. some standoffs here uh, that should make our life easier when it comes to cable management so we can use uh, the provided uh, zip ties or use our own if we, if we don't have we can purchase to maximize uh, the cable management to make uh, the case look better and to make it easier for us in the future to upgrade some internals, replace the uh, power supply in case if needed and there is uh, enough space uh, around two and a half, three centimeters space for cable management uh, I assume it should be enough for uh, what we call tubing as well so we have uh, some more space here at the top. I assume that um, the uh, water cooling can be used to, to be routed from here. So um, I believe that uh, along with the, uh, the, the flagship 900D uh, case, uh, which is uh, huge and can accommodate uh, tons of water cooling and um, hard drives uh, this is the um, the best solution for those who are uh, planning to use mostly air cooling or uh, water cooling but not hardcore uh, so you can easily use uh, two radiators 240 mm at, uh, at the front and 360 mm at, at, at the uh, top. You can also put 120 mm at the uh, at the back. Uh, it looks pretty slick. So we have uh, the headphone, microphone. Uh, reset button, the power button.
button here. Uh, it has two LEDs uh, on the sides, uh, USB 3.0, two ports, and two USB 2.0 ports. So, and last but not least, we have the, the bottom part of it. So we can, as we can see, uh, we can install two 120 or two 140 millimeter fans at the, oh, no, it's two 120 millimeter fans at the bottom, or um, I believe. We can also fit a 120 millimeter radiator here at the bottom of, as well. Um, since if we remove these four screws at each side to remove the uh, hot drop cages, then there is also a dust filter here at the bottom for to make your life easier when it comes to cleaning the dust. There are four rubberized fits that should maximize the airflow beneath your case and also minimize the vibrations. Um, I think that covers the case, the layout. Um, it's a great looking uh, very sleek, uh, I would say minimalistic because uh, there are no lights, no uh, rounded shapes or strange shapes. Uh, it's a great case for those who are looking for a black, great looking, uh, sleek case that can accommodate tons of hardware and cooling both water, water cooling and air cooling would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it to anyone uh, who is building a new PC uh, it's great looking and it's quite affordable so the price uh, is uh, much less compared to the flagship 900D and um, it has pretty much 80% of the uh, um, performance and the room of uh, 900 MD. So, um, thanks for watching. Any questions, feel free to ask them. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank you, bye bye.